Hey guys, it's Bertus here from Tycoon Kids Academy and in this video I wanted to give you an overview of a brilliant game uh, that I wanted to tell you about and it's called Sim Companies. Now Sim Companies is not just a game, it's a business simulator and it's probably one of the most realistic ones that you get online. It's an online game where you've got your own little town uh, your own company where you can set up different um, buildings um, as your businesses so you can go and do anything that you want it's an open-ended game with a million different choices and you are managing all of it and it's your decisions that will determine how profitable your company is if you make it and if you don't make it now because it's an online game the whole economy of the game the supply and demand and the price of all the products, everything, all gets determined by the thousands of players playing the game. So it's really realistic in that aspect and it's something that will really benefit everybody that wants to learn more about business and how to manage business. It goes into all the different aspects of a proper big company from the ground level things such as um, production like this little uh, business I have here where you can produce things like seeds and if you've got seeds you can produce things like apples so you can see if you want to produce apples and uh, do that as part of your business you can do so you just need a certain amount of water units and a certain amount of seed units you can buy all the different things that they exchange or you can even have manufacturing plants or production plants where you can make it yourself so you can see you can produce your own seeds with those seeds and some water you can make your own apples it will tell you how much it costs you with the wages of your workers to produce it and once you've got the apples you can now either sell it on the exchange at market value or you can go into retail so you can see here I've got a retail store, a grocery store, where you can sell apples. So, for instance, if I produce the apples, it might cost me $2. And if I want to sell the apples, then you can make some profit with that. Now, you can choose the different price uh, point for your apples. And that will uh, change the amount of profits that you make. But it will also change the amount of time that you take to sell it. So this teaches you how to work out profits, how to estimate profits, and how to play around with different amounts to work out the most profitable way to sell it. Now, instead of just selling your apples at the grocery store, you can also have production plants where you use those apples to make different things. They've got a whole encyclopedia showing you all the different things here. So let's say... You want to use the apples to make apple cider. You can see you need a beverage factory. And if I've got a beverage factory and I've got my apples, then you can make apple cider and you can sell the apple cider for a lot more than you would just simply make selling the apples. You can sell it in the grocery store or you can even set up a restaurant. Now, if you've got a restaurant, you want to go into this type of the restaurant business it's you can see there's so many different things that you can make you can just have your whole entire company focusing around the restaurant business for each thing that you want to make you simply click on that they tell you what type of business you need to start that to make it and where you can sell it and all the ingredients and each th of these ingredients you can either produce like in a food processing plant or you can simply go buy it at the exchange now here at the exchange you can see the market price for all the different products and it gets sold by real people just like you who are selling it online in this game and they determine the value of this and this can change the whole time so the amount of profits that you make for products will change the entire time so it will be interesting to play around and see what type of products will make you the most profits and that's how you're going to learn 
about the entire process and figuring out the best way, the best type of business to be in and to make the most money. So for instance, here you can see a slaughterhouse that I've got. For that, I need some pigs. To get pigs, you can set up a farm or you can simply buy them and you can produce sausages. Now, you will see at the grocery store, for instance, they will show you the demand of the different products as well. So it also teaches you to look at the demand, uh, how much a product is in demand before you start selling it. Like for instance, you can see that maybe orange juice looks like a very profitable product if you've worked out how much profits you can make. But now the demand is very low. So even though you make a lot of profits, you're going to struggle to sell it because there's not a lot of demand. So while the apples might sell 10 apples in a minute, the orange juice might take an hour to sell 10 units. So in that aspect, it might be better to look for a higher demand product. So there's so many different industries that you can go in. You can either choose something that you're interested in, or you can start with something basic like like I've got here, producing stuff and just selling it retail. And as you get more money, you can start investing in more expensive type of buildings. Where you can make more profits and thus grow your business. You can also upgrade your buildings to work faster. You can get more people working uh, for your business. You can see there's just so many different things you can go into. You can go into the food industry. You can go into the construction industry. You can go into the fashion industry and if you're interested in something like this, you can just go click on leather. It shows you you need a farm. You make cows and with the cows you can make leather. And if you've got leather, then you can make handbags in the fashion factory and then you can sell it in the fashion store. So you can have a whole fashion business if you want. You can have an energy business. You can even produce rocket fuel. You can have an electronics business where you can make, let's say, um, televisions and something like this gets a lot more complicated but you can also make a lot more profit so you can see you need all these different components that you can also manufacture and at the end of the day you sell it in an elect electronics store you can have an automotive business where you sell cars even you can go even into aerospace producing starships jets resources you can mine if you want you can go into research software development you can even go into banking where you invest money and make money like that so very very realistic you can if you're a younger person you can keep it simple things like just staying in retail or having a restaurant business and as you get more proficient in the game, then you can start branching out into more um, intricate type of businesses, like if you want to go into electronics or things like that. So not only do you learn about working at profits, looking at demand, seeing how the supply chain works from production to manufacturing to retail, but... Uh, also managing employees as you have employees and also working with money and accounting. So all the accounting stats get displayed here. You can see um, the income statements, the balance statements, all the different transactions. So you've got all the different statistics here. You can learn from this. This is just like real business and with finance, you can learn about finance. If you need to get some finance to, if you need capital to, to branch out your business, you can invest in bonds where you can get um, return on your investments and things like that. You can hire people, staff to help you to work, help you work out the profits and things like that. And you can even go into research. There's just so many things you can do. What I've explained now really just is the the tip of the iceberg. What I can tell you is that this is probably one of the most realistic business simulators that I've seen. It's extremely good for anyone to learn about business. If you want to get your child um, doing something on a screen that is actually beneficial to them, instead of letting them play mindless games like Fortnite, 
um, it'd be much better getting them into a business simulating game like this where they're going to learn all about business and will also get um, them that entrepreneurial mindset where they want to start a business, where they want to become their own boss, where they want to manage things. And that is what you want. You want them not just to make money while they're a child, but just to foster that love for business and the love for being their own boss and um, for businesses. So uh, get this game. I've got a link for you. Uh, check it out. Try it out. Uh, also get your child. If he's a teen from about 12 years up, it should be a good fit for him. And uh, then uh, join some companies. If you have any questions about it, just eat me up and I'll be sure to help you out as well. Enjoy.